Imagine looking up at the night sky, knowing that out there, beyond the reach of our eyes, are entire worlds that make Earth look boring. Planets that rain glass, orbit two suns, glow pink, or are literally being eaten by their own stars. Sounds like science fiction, right? Except it's all real. This is the bizarre, mind-bending world of exoplanets, planets outside our solar system, and today, we're diving into some of the absolute weirdest ones ever discovered. Let's start with one of the most terrifying examples of cosmic doom, WASP-12b. This gas giant orbits so close to its parent star that it completes a full orbit in just over a single Earth day. One day. But that's not even the wildest part. WASP-12b is so close to its star that the intense gravitational pull is stretching the planet into an egg shape and literally tearing it apart. Astronomers say the star is actually consuming the planet, pulling its atmosphere away, piece by piece. It's like a cosmic vampire. And if that wasn't enough, the side of the planet facing the star reaches over 2,500 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than some stars. Now, let's go from fire to glass. Meet HD 189733B, the stuff of nightmares. If you thought a thunderstorm was scary, try rains of glass shards, sideways, at 7,000 km per hour. This planet is another hot Jupiter A gas giant orbiting very close to its star. Its striking blue color might remind you of Earth. But don't be fooled. That color comes from silicate particles in the atmosphere. These particles condense into glass, and then get blasted sideways by superfast winds. So yeah, raining glass at Mach 6. Bring an umbrella? Nope, not gonna help. Alright, let's cool things down with a planet that might, just might, be able to support life. Maybe. Kind of. Sort of. Enter Gliese 581c, a rocky planet located just 20 light years away. It's one of the earliest exoplanets that sparked serious excitement about habitability. It sits in what's called the Goldilocks zone not too hot, not too cold, just right for liquid water. But don't get too excited. Some scientists argue that Gliese 581c might be tidally locked, meaning one side always faces the star and is roasting hot, while the other is frozen solid. So, unless you live in a very thin twilight ring between eternal day and eternal night, it's not exactly paradise. But let's shift gears and get a bit more. Cinematic. Remember Tatooine, the desert planet from Star Wars with two suns in the sky? Well, science has made that real. Meet Kepler-16b, the first confirmed planet that orbits two stars. It's about the size of Saturn, and it dances in a perfect orbit around a binary star system. Can you imagine standing on its surface, if it had one, and watching two sunsets every night? Twin shadows, double dawns. It's the kind of thing that once lived only in science fiction. But, thanks to the Kepler Space Telescope, we now know it's real. Now, buckle up, because it's time for the bling. Meet 55 Concrete E, sometimes called the Diamond Planet. No, it doesn't sparkle like a ring on a finger, but scientists believe that up to a third of this planet's mass could be pure diamond. How is that even possible? Well, the planet orbits a star rich in carbon, and under immense pressure and heat, far beyond what we experience on Earth, carbon atoms could form crystalline structures across a vast portion of the interior. It's basically the ultimate cosmic luxury item. Except, of course, it's 40 light years away and far too hot to visit. But hey, it's nice to dream. Finally, let's talk color. GJ504b is a gas giant that has a truly unexpected trait, it's bright pink. That's not a poetic metaphor, it's literally glowing pink. The color is due to its temperature and the way heat radiates through its atmosphere. GJ504b is still relatively young, just about 160 million years old, an infant by cosmic standards. That means it hasn't cooled down yet from its formation. It's like a hot coal still glowing after a fire, except the coal is the size of Jupiter and pink. Now, if you're wondering how we know all of this, it comes down to some incredible technology. Most of these exoplanets were discovered using the transit method, where telescopes like Kepler and TESS observe tiny dips in a star's brightness as a planet passes in front. Others have been found using the radial velocity method, which looks for tiny wobbles in a star's motion caused by the gravitational tug of orbiting planets. And in some rare cases, we've even directly imaged exoplanets, capturing pictures of them from dozens or hundreds of light years away. Think about that. We are looking at other worlds, directly. There are now over 5,000 confirmed exoplanets, and each new discovery seems weirder than the last. Some orbit dead stars, some are made of lava, some may even float freely in space with no star at all, just cold, dark rogue planets wandering the galaxy. And yet, with all that variety, we've barely scratched the surface. 
What makes this so fascinating isn't just how strange these planets are, it's what they reveal about us. About how special, or not so special, our little blue world really is. Earth might feel like the default, but as we keep discovering more about the universe, we're learning that Earth is the exception, not the rule. Planets out there are bigger, hotter, colder, more violent, and more alien than anything we imagined. So next time you look up at the night sky, think about WASP-12b being torn apart, or HD 189733b slicing itself with glass storms, or Kepler-16b basking in twin sunsets. These aren't fantasy. They're real. The universe isn't just vast, it's wild. And the weirdest planets? They're probably still out there, waiting to be found.